Mike, what does Mike Wilson do when everyone starts to sound like Mike Wilson? Well, thanks, John. It's, it's awfully nice of you. But, I mean, look, the, the bottom line is that the consensus is right 80 percent of the time, right? It's, 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 it's usually the trend is your friend, and we are in one of those trends. And, and, and there's good fundamental and, uh, you know, policy reasons for that. So we've arrived is the way I like to say it. So sometimes it's easier to travel than it is to arrive. And now that we've arrived at the station and everybody has the same view, you do need to look around and say, okay, where could I be surprised here? And we think there's a couple of areas. Number one, we continue to think that, you know, rates will move up at the back end, that we're not going to get maturity extensions today the way that some people are expecting. The good news is I think uh, expectations around that have come down recently uh, because financial conditions remain very supportive. Uh, it does look like we're going to get some fiscal support, which is something the Fed has been looking at. So there's really no need to do maturity extensions at this time. Um, and, but that could be something that allows back-end rates to move up, which will put pressure on valuations early next year. The other thing I would say is that, you know, we are still looking at probably some sort of an air pocket with respect to demand trends in the first quarter as we, you know, finish up the second wave of this virus, the vaccine gets distributed, there'll, pre there'll be some disappointments. And so, look, the way we're trying to navigate this, John, is, you know, we're moving from kind of the initial move off the lows in the new bull market. Everything works. Um, we're seeing the rotations towards the things that we've been favoring, small cap cyclicals. We think that's a real trend. And that's a new trend, by the way, and consensus is moving into that area. But this is a new trend, right, John? So we're trying to follow the new trends, and that's, that, was a, that was the point of our note this past couple of weeks. Don't fight the momentum, not so much on the overall market, but in these new trends. And I, you know, my sense is people are still fighting the, the new trends uh, in the cyclicals, small caps, and the things that are more economically sensitive. Mike, if you can flesh that out a little bit more, please do, because the note was a little longer than the comment you just made there, and I want to give it a little bit of time. You wrote the momentum begets momentum, and as I went through the note, it was exploring where that momentum was heading to, where it was building, Mike. Can you build on that a little bit more? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty simple in its construct, but there's a lot of work that went into it with respect to trying. It, it, here's the way it works. So price momentum is a very popular strategy. main reason why is because it works, right? So in other words, people... Uh, you know, want to follow the trends, and price momentum is a good strategy. And it's become very popular, not only with active managers, but also with a lot of these passive strategies. So it becomes kind of self-fulfilling. And the, and the momentum that seems to work the best or where people follow the most is trailing 12-month price momentum, meaning what's worked the best over the last 12 months. And what we did this past couple of weeks is we're saying, okay, here are the things that are happening over the last 12 months, what's changing. And what's changed is small caps are moving more into that price momentum bucket, Cyclicals are absolutely moving into that 12-month price mo momentum bucket. But what has not moved in there yet is things like low quality and value versus growth. That hasn't really happened yet. But what has happened, John, is on a six-month basis, it has moved. So we're trying to get in front of this, get ahead of the curve, and say what's going to shift into the 12 And we think it's the value bucket and the low quality bucket has yet to happen, meaning now it's a, it'll be a full shift. And we think that that, that pressure – to keep up with price momentum will really shift with the calendar year, right? Because on a, on a trailing 12-month basis year to date, it's still growth, it's still high quality, but that could revert quickly in the first quarter. So hopefully that's clear. Um, but we think this trend is in place now. We have enough confirmation that it's happening, particularly in the last six weeks, and, and, and we think that, that, that investors need to get in front of it and not wait for it to be uh, plainly obvious.